The Hunter Biden laptop scandal continues, the plot thickens. But this time, the person who ran the computer repair shop where Hunter Biden left his laptop is speaking out against people who are essentially claiming to have material from the laptop that isn't actually from it. So John Paul Mac Isaac is the person who decided to speak to Real America's Voice, a right wing outlet. He is the computer repair shop owner. He's also a person who has too many names, John Paul Mac Isaac. But here's what he has to say about the accusations against Hunter Biden. And let me be clear, he is in fact a Trump supporter. Do a deep dive in the laptop once it became my property. During that time, I saw a lot of photos. I did not see a lot of photos that are being reported to be seen. Now, with that said, I do know that there have been multiple attempts over the past year and a half to insert questionable material into the laptop, as in not physically, but passing it off this misinformation or disinformation as coming from the laptop. And that is a major concern of mine because I have fought tooth and nail to protect the integrity of this drive. So honestly, none of that surprises me. And I might disagree with him wholeheartedly on political issues, but I do want to commend him for saying that. Because it was something that I suspected, but wasn't sure about. And now it's just clear because he's the guy who has possession of Hunter Biden's laptop. And there's all sorts of accusations made, many of which, by the way, Francesca, haven't really amounted to criminal activity. Like, I have no problem with prosecuting Hunter Biden to the full extent of the law if he's done something wrong. It's just like, homeboy didn't pay his taxes. Okay, good. I'm glad that we found out he wasn't paying his taxes and now he's forced to pay his taxes. But like, and then what? What else? Like, what's what's the big shocking story that like they've been teasing us with for over a year now that we still don't have any details on? I mean, like, good on him. You cannot bribe a man in a beret. I'm just gonna put that out there. He's got a pom pom on his hat. This dude is committed to things. Number one is <laughs> number one his look. Number what? two, the integrity of a hard drive. And look, that's par for the course with a lot of IT people. No matter what their political leanings are, no, there's a right way to do things. There's a wrong way to do things. Something was, you know, officially. Given to that laptop, that's no, 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 no. Mm, mm, mm. So it's just so funny because everyone else in Trump world is gonna make something up. Anyone else in Trump world would be like, ooh, 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 let's put all the child pornography on this, like, or whatever the hell else they would put on it. But this guy's like, it's honestly not there. And there have been data breaches and people trying to get into it, but I'm trying to preserve the integrity. And back to what you were saying, honestly, the only thing that I found out that about Hunter's laptop and, and like leaked text messages was that Joe Biden sent Hunter a text message when Hunter was in rehab that said, I love you, son. And it's just like, oh, I'm like, wow, that's supposed to make us suspect of Hunter and Joe Biden. It makes me like Joe Biden more than I ever have when I hear about that text message. Like the idea that we're dragging someone's also drug addiction through the mm-hmm. mud at this mm-hmm. like at this point like forget the sex scandals tax stuff but like a drug addiction that he's been in treatment for it's the lowest of the low and it's not flying with people i think either on the right i mean you know some on the right but it doesn't fly with people well, I mean, look, Francesca, to be fair, Glenn Greenwald does make an important point in noting that the Hunter Biden laptop story is just not being reported, you know? <laughs> now, what exactly would we report? Because there hasn't really been like a shocking development worth discussing. And let me just say, like, again, I've got no loyalty to Hunter Biden. I don't care. Like, if he did something truly criminal, Of course, we'll cover it on the show, but it's also important to put everything in context, which is to say that Hunter Biden is not in any way connected to our government, other than he happens to be the son of Joe Biden, who has not appointed him in any type of official White House role, unlike someone that people like 
Glenn Greenwald seemed to avoid criticizing Donald Trump, who put his own children, his son in law, in the White House as official White House advisors. Yep. And by the way, if the right wing is in any way concerned about Hunter Biden engaging in nefarious foreign deals, why don't we address a story that broke just recently about Jared Kushner using his position in the White House as leverage to get a $2 billion investment from Saudi Arabia. And that investment, by the way, was Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince's way of honestly thanking him for providing cover after MBS ordered the assassination and dismemberment of Jamal Khashoggi, a Washington Post journalist. That apparently doesn't really matter to no. these, um, you know, these disinformation peddlers. Doesn't matter yeah. at all. We don't have like stars in our eyes about politicians' children and all the legs up that they get and all of the ways that yes, you know, Hunter Biden, maybe he was, you know, working on some natural gas deals in Ukraine or working with Burisma or all whatever the hell else Giuliani says in a, you know, fever dream whiskey sweats rant mm -hmm. that he goes on. But but if we are comparing rotten apples and rotten apples, which I feel like we do on this show a lot, and we understand gradations of crime, unless there are the nuclear codes being sold to the highest bidder on that laptop, nothing that could be revealed is can hold a candle to the last four years of the Trump administration, the most corrupt administration in history, as Bernie Sanders likes to remind us. And I think we need to remember uh, making sure that military officials stayed in Trump hotels. The, mm -hmm. the family, Ivanka's deals with her, like whatever, purse line, etc. The obvious in China, yeah. In China, the Jared Kushner stuff with Saudi Arabia, to say nothing of his deals with UAE and all the ways he was playing the Gulf states against one another before he even got into office. By the way, neither Ivanka nor Jared had real security clearance to be in the White House. The extortion of Ukraine, the attempt to overturn the election. Do we need to go on the PPP loans that basically just went out to anybody? Anybody, including the Trump family, Jared got mm -hmm. some of those. Just like, give it a rest, give it a rest. Let's, I let's, mean, yeah. Trump continued robbing his own supporters after the 2020 election by sending them emails to fundraise for his legal fight to you know overturn uh, the election. And, and that money didn't go to any kind of legal fight. I mean, and then by the way, there were recurring donations that people Yuck. didn't realize would be recurring. And people ended up like overdrafting in their in their accounts. All these people, people on fixed incomes. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh. I mean, retirees, people living with disabilities, just like the fine print. They didn't uncheck the right boxes. I mean, yeah, it's disgusting. It really is. But no, no, let's uh, let's get another, I don't know, full year full of innuendo pertaining to Hunter Biden's laptop. Don't care. I don't care unless there's really something groundbreaking, which I doubt. I mean, it's been this long and nothing groundbreaking has been revealed. But this is if, groundbreaking, right? Like this, this is actually I mean, really yeah. interesting to, to know like, well, what is, what was, who and what um, was attempted to be put onto this laptop? Yeah, well, okay, so let me give you some of the context, some of the details we do know. So the portable drive provided to the Washington Post contains 286,000 individual user files, including documents, photos, videos, and chat logs of those, Cryptography and forensic experts concluded that nearly 22,000 emails among those files carried cryptographic signatures that could be verified using technology that would be difficult for even the most sophisticated hackers to fake. So of the 22,000 verified emails, most of them were newsletters, fundraising appeals, hotel receipts, news alerts, bank notifications, and products ads. Titillating. Uh, the experts, uh, Matt Green and Jake Williams, did find verified communications between Hunter and a Chinese energy conglomerate uh, known as CEFC China Energy, as well as emails with the Ukrainian energy company Burisma, which of course he served on the board for. But the emails were only routine communications, board meetings, confirmation of travel, billing statements. 
that weren't uh, specifically new or incriminating. So uh, look, I get on the Democrats a lot for the weak stuff that they try to use for their campaigning. I really do think that you know, given the fact that the January 6th congressional panel is refusing to send or refer criminal charges to the DOJ for Trump. Like, I feel like what they're doing with the panel is just like finding something to campaign on for the midterms. I think that's gonna be a failed effort. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, Republicans engage in similar stuff. And at the end of the day, we're dealing with two parties that like try to find other things to distract you with or to campaign on that doesn't really speak to the real issues Americans care about. So I think your point about how this laptop story isn't really gaining any momentum is a valid one. And it's not because Republican officials haven't been trying. I just think that the voters aren't buying it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even even Republican voters, like you're saying, yeah. aren't really buying it. It's just like weird internet sleuths, QAnon adjacent, if you've got time to go down this rabbit hole. But it's not yet. There's no traction behind it because there's nothing there. Uh. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.